What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I've got some awesome epic news. So this is gonna be the first video, first real official video I've done in my place. But it's not gonna be in my place. So, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, tonight is Wednesday night, tomorrow is Thursday, so Thursday morning, I will be heading up with Goodman to Beartooth Basin and Summer Ski Area to do some snowboarding. Now it is the first actual like resort day, I guess you could call it a resort day, Beartooth Basin is kind of a resort. Um, first day with like actual lift tickets and you know, all mountain riding, park, all sorts of stuff, hopefully park. First uh, riding like that I've done since, I believe it was like the like 11th or 12th or something like that of March. So like I literally have not been up to a mountain and actually rode a lift besides like the one day at Bear Canyon that I'm not really counting. So yeah, like this is gonna blow all like the three to four, I think there's three videos from Bear Canyon that I have that was like a month and a half ago. It's gonna completely blow all those out of the water because this is Bear Tooth Basin Summer Ski Area. Now, I'm not sure how it is in a lot of other places where you guys are at with everything going on with all the craziness, but we have just launched into phase two of business reopenings in the Bozeman area, Montana area, just in general. Actually, it's all Montana, but um, so that's kind of opened up the possibilities and you know the reason why we're going to be able to go down to Bear Tooth Basin tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, I am insanely looking forward to it. So on top of riding up there with Goodman and going to pretty much be shredding the whole day with Goodman, I'm also meeting up with a Gilson teammate, Ira Flanagan. And uh, we, it is, I'm really stoked about meeting up with her. We were supposed to have like a whole like two days of shredding up at Big Sky at the beginning of April, but with everything, all the craziness happening, um, it, the resort shut down. Okay. But with everything happening, obviously the resort shut down like a couple weeks before the turn of that month. So it's like, didn't get a chance to go rip with uh, Ira on the 1st and 2nd of April, which we were supposed to. So this is hopefully going to be able to make up for it. Now, I'm hoping this is not going to be the only trip I make up there, but right now I'm not going to get my hopes up. Everything right now is for this trip is 100% set in stone, but everything for this trip is pretty much set in stone. So since everything is kind of crazy as far as business and numbers, you have to buy your tickets, uh, lift tickets a day early. So we've already got all that secured. We're ready to go up and um, we're probably going to be leaving, hitting on the road at like six in the morning or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Cause it's like a three hour drive up there and we really want to get a whole day in. So uh, yeah, I'm going to wax up the board and cause I know just because it's summer warm weather conditions that uh, it's probably going to be a little bit of a pain riding up there so I completely lost my train of thought anyways I'm gonna get on that and it's about like 9 p.m. right now uh, pretty much gonna do that whip that up and I really wish my camera would stop going in and out of focus so yeah it's like 9 p.m. right now so I'm just gonna get this rolling and honestly start just rounding up some stuff for the night. Now thankfully when I moved into this place, uh, I was able to set all my snowboarding gear like in like the closest spot in my, uh, in my storage closet over here so it really shouldn't be an issue being able to locate all of my stuff and get it packed up and get it ready to move. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I think I'm just gonna go I'm home. So hopefully I can actually put together like a decent edit from this weekend since it's gonna be such a rare occasion and I have met up to the mountain in months, pretty much like more of a game, like pretty much about three months. Since I haven't been actually like resort riding in three months, I really wanna do my part to like put out a good video, put out a good edit um, for you guys and for my sponsors too. Like honestly, like I was I was really not, you know, about to get like on a little like sour or somber note, but like I was a little upset with the way my riding was at the end of the season. And um, hopefully I can do a little bit to make up for that. Uh, I'm not getting my hopes up for a lot of park features to be set up, even though this resort does usually have a park. Um, I'm just gonna just go there and just hopefully make up some turns. And honestly, not having to hike is gonna be a huge part because, as you guys know, when I went up the Bear Canyon, I only did like one line. 
it wasn't even that fun. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's, it was fun. But it, this is going to be more fun. So, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm going to get the wax on my board because I'm just talking and rambling right now. So, peace. So, got the board all waxed up, got the kitchen all cleaned up, and man, it is getting late. We're trying to get on the road at like 6 in the morning, I think. I'm not totally sure, but that's what it was looking, or at least sounding like the last time I talked to Goodman. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to pass out and just wake up super early, get everything ready to roll, and might need to take that board out and dust it off a little bit more, but get everything ready to roll tomorrow, and... I'm so stoked. I can't wait to have a killer video for you guys tomorrow. So, I don't even know what else to say. I'm tired. My head is hot. I was literally over that hot iron the whole night, which is still cooling off in my sink currently. But, uh, yeah, that was that. And I'm gonna go to bed. Catch you guys tomorrow. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Beartooth Basin with Goodman right here. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. All right, what is up, guys? Up at Beartooth Basin. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. It's so windy. But, uh... Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> That's right! Hell yeah! Oh, man. I don't even know if I'm ready yet, dude. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh my god. Oh. I gotta take a photo. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mother Nature, how you look so beautiful. Oh, I got blood on my face. It's nice. Yeah, I got you too. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Fine art? <laughs> like my boat out. <laughs>
was talking about is I had to learn pomas today. That's why there's no footage today. I learned how to ride those the whole fucking day. That's good. <laughs> it wasn't the whole day, but it was it was a good part of the day. You started off on off right at the beginning and hiking your ass all the way up that. Yep. I hiked all the way up this because I didn't have confidence to yeah. to take the poma, but I did it. Got back on it, man. Gotta get back on that horse. Gotta get back on that whore. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta study. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But hey, we're skiing in June. I mean, that's awesome. We're skiing in June. We're skiing in June. Oh, I love Montana. Dude, yes. It is actually. It was snowing there for a second ago. Like it's still snowing right now. It's like it's kind of trying to snow, and uh, that's just June in Montana for you. Montana. June in the bear tooth. The tear booth. It was just that. Ira's about to get on. All right, what is up, guys? So that was, that was fun. That was interesting. That was definitely an experience. I really hope that's gonna be a good video, man. Like, they're really, I'm gonna be real. Like, there really was not a lot of time to be recording. Um, I spent the majority of that day learning how to ride a Poma lift which I don't know if you guys know what a Poma lift is, but it's pretty much like a T-bar, but it's a little disc instead of the T at the bottom of it, and you gotta pull it down, put it between your legs, and for a snowboarder, it's incredibly difficult, and I've never ridden one before, so my whole, like, majority of the time, I was pretty much struggling to ride a Poma lift. And so, there really wasn't a whole lot set up there, so we just kind of mobbed around and rip, ripped around on the slush a little bit. I did meet up with my teammate IRF, like you will see in the, in the brief amount of clips that I actually got from today. But um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was fun. It definitely was not what I was expecting as far as like terms of like what they had open and available. I was really expecting some rails, some park, like they usually advertise for. There definitely was none of that. It's okay, like it's not a big deal, but it definitely was a little bit of a drawback seeing as how like that's what I was kind of expecting, but it was fun. It was great. Um, I do apologize. It's not going to be that great of a video. I'm sorry. I really wanted to have like a good snowboarding video put out and it just kind of, it didn't really come together that well. Um, there really wasn't a lot that we were ripping around and doing and um, but with that being said, I will be making another trip up there. Um, I don't think I'm going to be ripping the basin. I'll be ripping the head wall. I'll be riding the head wall with my teammate, um, Ira. And then we're just probably going to be just doing that just because the train seems a little bit better. It seems like there's more options. There's definitely some more availability. And honestly, it just kind of seems like it's going to be really fun. And it's not going to cost us $45 a day, day ticket. So. Not like that was a huge drawback, it was worth it, it was fun. I went up there with Goodman, we had a blast. It was well worth the trip because honestly, it kind of like took away all the imagination. Like I've never been to that the, the basin before. So I just kind of was picturing how it was gonna be in my head and it kind of like, you know, erased all of that imagination, which is nice. But um yeah, you know, even though it wasn't what I was expecting, it was still great. Um, it was amazing to actually be on the snow again and riding lifts once I figured out how to work the Poma. Um, it just felt, it felt really amazing being up there, being out there riding and shredding and kicking it with the teammate and the friend. And uh, once again though, I'm just sorry this isn't gonna be that great of a video. And I know that's one of those things I shouldn't say on my channel. I shouldn't be like, you know, dissing my own content, but I do apologize. Um, once again though, I do appreciate everybody's support. So if you did enjoy this in any way, shape or form for what it was worth, uh, please smash that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's hopefully I'll be having a redemption video to this when the next time I head up to the Bear Tooth to do some snowboarding. So I'm not gonna sit there and say that the snowboarding is wrapped up for the season because that's on the list. That's gonna be like one of the next like couple weeks, but uh, figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And um, yeah, that was that. Thank you for hanging in there. But this is probably gonna be a short video. Um, I haven't started editing any of it, but um, thank you for hanging in there. And once again, please smash that like. I know this one was not as good as the other ones, but but if this brings you just a little closer, <sighs> I'll work on it. Next one will be better. I promise. I, I need a good snowboarding video for you guys. I really, really need it. Like you guys are gonna think I'm terrible. You know.
know, I'm a sponsored snowboarder and I couldn't even figure out how to ride a pommel lift today because I've literally been a resort rider right now. So, I really want to get a good snowboarding video for you and that's my goal, my ultimate goal the next time I head up to the Red Lodge area. So, hopefully I can get that ready for you guys. Um, this is honestly just kind of a cool video, just to be back on the snow, at least that's what I'm telling myself. But, uh, hope you guys like it and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm out.